Hi, I'm Tim Nicol from Save Our Marine Life. I've just walked out of our meeting with the federal government to find out about the draft maps for the southwest of Western Australia. This is the federal government's proposal of how they plan to protect marine life in this region for generations to come. It's the moment we've been working together for three years, three long hard years of campaigning, and this is really it. Now this isn't just about the southwest of Western Australia, it's also about the rest of Australia. After the southwest, the government will do the north, then they'll do the north the northwest and the east regions of Australia, a new network of protection right around Australia. As we know, our marine life has been in serious decline. Uh, we've seen 90% of the large fish disappear from our oceans. Uh, the southwest is critical to whales, and we've seen blue whales are now at 2% still of their pre-whaling levels. More needs to be done to protect our oceans. Every year, seals die in fishing nets, dolphins die in fishing nets, and our fish populations continue to decline, with large fish disappearing from our oceans. Western Australia is relatively better off than other parts of the world, but we're still seeing these declines in large fish, and it will catch up with us here. So what did we see today? Well, sadly, we haven't seen enough from the government. They've created one large protected area protecting some of the deep water habitats of the south coast, the Diamantina Fracture Zone, Australia's deepest mountain range, biggest mountain range, and the Naturalist Plateau. But there's a strong bias towards those deep regions, and a number of our critical hotspots for marine life remain completely unprotected. The scientific consensus is clear. We must put in place large marine sanctuaries to build on existing management arrangements in our oceans as there are key species still in decline, such as western rock lobster. The Save Our Marine Life Alliance of leading conservation groups is deeply concerned that the existing proposal fails to include large areas in marine sanctuaries. Australia's scientists have reached a consensus. A network of large marine sanctuaries will allow fish stocks to rebuild and be protected from serious threats such as oil drilling, oil spills and bottom trawling.